Hello everyone, this is Al Kabeda Analyst and today I will be breaking down on why the Eagles would have lost without Sue and Joseph and what difference they made. Man, it's a strong case. As much as Hurts is him, it's a strong case that we want to win this game without Joseph and also Sue. But this is Al Kabeda Analyst. What can I say? I'm about to break down this clip that's behind me seven tackles both of them have a half a sack so they had seven tackles combined both half a sack ironically they both hit matt ryan at the same time to get their half sack fresh legs you've seen it on the field they look very very good man you just seen the defense just look better not only them that played better fletcher cox played better wayne testerfield mel williams played better Brandon Graham looked rejuvenated, even though I think it was a little something behind that. But man, the defensive line, the linebackers was hitting better. And to me, what I can say is to what one of the best running backs in the league, Jonathan Taylor, who last week played or two weeks played the Raiders and had like 150 yards or 147, something like that. He went bananas. Besides that one play, he ran for about like 40, 50 yards. After that, he only averaged like two, three yards per carry. I think we also stripped um, stripped him, got a fumble out of him. So they made a difference. But let's go ahead and break down this clip. Let me go ahead and shrink myself. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Now, let's go ahead and start it. All right, so here we go. Joseph and Sue, they was on the field together a lot. Look at this. Look how they clogging up the hole. 28 just can't get nowhere. Sue all over it. Joseph all over it. Open up a hole for Kazir White to get there. Now look at this. Joseph against the center, man. The center was light work for him. Swim moves out the way. Stop that run. Only about a gain of two right there. Just watch Joseph, man. Joseph is a demon. Look, demon, Tom. Look, center to his knees. Right there. Jonathan Taylor got nowhere to go. Look, Edwards right there. Still get there anyway, Joseph. All right, here we go again. My phone just wrong. Forget that phone. All right, Joseph Sue. All right, Matt Ryan. Play action. Here it go. Here it go to sack. Here it go to sack. Look, center to his knees again. There it go to half a sack from both. Tell you, man, these dudes made a difference. I did not expect this spark this quick. Now, here we go again. Look at big boy Joseph. Another swim move. Another swim move to that center. Look, already behind the line of scrimmage, Joseph. Look. They run the back guy, make adjustments, and he run into Fletcher Cox and get nowhere. Here we go again. I think it's a 13-10 game here. They need a touchdown. They they get a touchdown, they probably win this game. But we held them to a field goal. But watch how Joseph was so marquee to this. Look, hold him with one arm. All right, where are you going to go, Jonathan Taylor? Where are you going to go? Oh, you going to run into my guy, Sue? All right, here we go again. All right, Joseph again. They want to get the pass game going. Look at look at Sue. By the way, he's inside. They guard gave up the inside, so it's rushing Matt Ryan, Brandon Graham right behind him. So he got to hurry up and rush some throw. Uh, had to throw it away. Held them to three points. Look, man. Let me expand myself. Without them, we don't win this game, man. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna say that they just came up so clutch, where we just played the Washington football team, or whatever you call them, Commanders. We could not stop them on third down because our run defense was trash. It was trash. Now I run defense the first drive. I'm like, oh man, the same thing is happening again. But after that, we shut it down, and we put the ball in Matt Ryan's hands. And what he do? Couldn't, couldn't get nothing going. Jalen Hurst did his thing on the offensive side. These two guys, 
And everybody that played the defensive line did their thing, man. It was a great effort by this team. I liked the fight. You know, people saying, oh, it's just the Colts. The same Colts team that beat the Chiefs. The same Colts team. They just hang in games. And they win them sometimes. They, they're a 4-6 team. Okay? They 4-6. They it's pretty, like, middle of the pack. They can possibly make something happen. I don't know. And they felt rejuvenated, got a new coach, Matt Ryan's back in. Jonathan Taylor just came off a, a, a day and then going up against one of the worst run defense. And to shut that down, these two made a difference, man. These two made one hell of a difference. Can't wait to see these guys play next week. Got Aaron Jones. Can we do it again? We know how Sue feel about the Packers because he played for the Lions for years. We know how Slay feel about the Packers. He played for the Lions for a couple years, for years, actually. So, I can't wait to that matchup. I will see if I could do a video about Green Bay tomorrow and the Eagles. I probably can't do it on my green screen because I'm going to have company over for Thanksgiving. But we will see. We will see. Uh, we will see. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about our big guys up front, man? But this is Al Kabir, the analyst, Ghost.